You can call a five-year-old girl or boy and say, tell me a story, and he will tell you a story and embellish it with such visuals and all that. So, you know, it's, it's part of the way of life here. So it's very unique. Movies like close to 30 movies every week, every week, 30 movies hits the market. Chico is the embodiment of the, of the, of the very Nigerian phenomenon. I don't know the count. Chico said he's shot up to 40, 50 films, but I think he's up to 100. He's scared to say he's shot more than that, so that people won't say, hey, hello. Is it a bakery? This is called Blind Love. Daybreak. Touch of Evil. There are so many, I don't know. This is called Cry for Justice. I've forgotten this story. Other directors laugh at Chico. But Chico's films have endured. He's done the good, he's done the bad, and he's done the nastiest of films. I went to cinema a lot. I sneak out, I went look for money, I remain stealing, I did that. I can do action movies. That's the most difficult kind of movies to we make. Tell the president. It involves a lot, even your life. I write the occasion where I lay on the car bonnet with my camera under the car on high speed. I'm a survivor, I can survive anywhere. This is the most challenging project I ever embarked on. We are about to make a history. We say I thank God for I belong to this production. Everybody, action! We about 700 cast in this, in this production. Extra, you have to deal with the entire community. That's not how the production is supposed to be. Actually, this is how production is supposed to be. If you want American filmmakers to lose their jobs, import some Nigerians. And I will shoot films in New York in 10 days because everything is working. Hey! Who up, Jeff? 